Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful blur zoom effect using Elementor page builder. So initially we can see the cards like this and when you hover over on it you see it's zooming in and other cards are zoomed out and blurred out at the same time. I will show you how to do that step by step. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. Let's take a new section by clicking on this plus icon here I'm taking this one column structure. Let's now give it a height I'm setting minimum height and let's give it 100 VH. Now I want to give it a background color. So from here background type let's select a background color that's hash 131313. Now within this column click on this plus icon here I'm dragging an inner section. Now here within this inner section let's take another column so I'm just duplicating one of them. Now we have three inner column within this inner section. All right, let's click on this plus icon here. First, I'm dragging an heading widget and I want it to say card one. Now make the alignment to centered, go under the style tab. From here, I'm making the text color to white color and typography. First, I'm making the size to 34 pixel and font weight to 700 or let's make it 800. Now underneath that here I'm dragging a text editor widget here. Go under style tab I'm making the alignment to centered also the text color to white color and font size to 16 pixel. Now underneath that here I just wanna drag a button widget. I'm making its alignment to centered. Go under style tab from here I'm making the color to white color and the text color I'm making it hash E21B50. And now I want to just reduce the space in between this paragraph and button. So let's select this paragraph, go under advanced tab, unbind the margin and only at the bottom I'm adding negative 20 pixel of margin. All right, let's now select this inner column, go under style tab. First of all, I'm adding a background color here. So that's the same pinkish or reddish color that's hash E21B50. Now go under advanced tab. From here, unbind the margin, only at the left and right, I'm adding 10 pixel of margin and let's unbind the padding. So here left and right, I'm adding 20 pixel of padding and bottom and top, I'm adding 50 pixel of padding. Now here with this inner column, I wanna add a class name and the class name would be card-box. Remember, you should type the exact class name card-box, otherwise the hover effect won't work. All right, so our layout has been done. Now I just wanna duplicate this column. Let's now duplicate it one more time. And here I'm removing the empty column from left, also from the right side. Then, you know, we can just simply change this heading. So I wanna say it card two, and the last one, I wanna say it card three. Now before adding the hover effect, I just wanna make sure it's looking great on mobile device and tablet as well. So to check its responsiveness from here, click on responsive mode. First, I'm going to tablet mode. Now here, first thing, I wanna make all of these inner columns with to 100%. So let's select the inner column, go under layout. From here, I'm making its width to 100%. Same for the second one, 100%. With the third one, I'm making its width to 100%. Now, let's select the most outer column, this one. Go under advanced tab. I wanna add some margin, but I'm giving it in percentage. Now, unbind the margin. On the left and right, I'm adding 25%. And at the top and bottom, I'm adding 5%. Then, let's select this middle inner column. Go under its advanced tab because, you know, I just wanna add some space at the top and bottom of it. So here unbind the margin, keep the left and right value to 10 and at the top and bottom I'm adding 30 pixel of margin. All right, it looks great on tablet now. We can go to mobile device. On mobile device, we just need to reduce the space from the left and right. So select the main column. Here, I just wanna add a 5% of margin all around it. So it's now looking great on mobile device, also on the tablet device, and for sure on the desktop device. All right, let's now close the responsive mode. Now to add the hover effect, let's just select the main inner section. Go under its advanced tab and open the custom CSS field. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this.
So now to get the custom CSS code, we can go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this page's link in the description as well. From that page, if you scroll down a bit here under blur zoom hover effect, let's just copy this CSS snippet from here. Copy it, go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet inside of this field. Let's now minimize the bar from left and have a look. So if we now hover over on it, we can see the beautiful zoom in hover effect. And if we now open the bar from left here, have a look, you have all the controls over it. You don't need to do anything with the rest of the coding, but you can control these first three value. So the first one is responsible for zoom in. Right now, if we hover over on it, we can see it's zooming in like it. But instead of 1.2, if I put here any other value, for example, 1.5. Now, let's hover over on it. You see it's becoming more bigger or more zoomed in. But I don't want that. So here I'm keeping it 1.2. Also, if you want, you can play with the zoom out. Instead of 0.9, if I put here 0.5 and have a look. Now, other curves are becoming more zoomed out. But instead of 0.5, I'm keeping it 0.9. And then here is the hover background. So at this moment, if we hover over on it, we can see the purple like background color on the card. But instead of that, if you want to put any other color, for example, here I'm writing green. So this time when you hover over on it, the background color becomes green. Like this one, you can put here any other color. You can put that using hex code or by using solid color name. So I'm going back to the previous color, this one. All right, everything is looking great, but I just wanna add some border radius with each of these columns. So let's just select the column, go under style tab. From here, open the border and I'm adding 10 pixel of border radius. Also with this one, let's go under style tab, open the border here. I'm adding 10 pixel of border radius. Also with the last one, go under style tab, open the border and add 10 pixel of border radius. So when you are happy with it, just click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.